loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy G for those that don't know me and today I'm going to show you how to do DIY cabochons or embellishment for scrapbooking or any crafting stuff that you have going on and it's really simple. Um, I just made these as a starter kit for me for myself. I do um, badges on the side and I wanted to try making them my own. And well, all the supplies, I went ahead and went to Michael's and went and bought them. I did use a Craftsmart Polymer Clay, and I got the color brown and white. I also got the Mod Podge molds, just because it was really cheap. I think it was like $9. And I do use a little um, plastic knife as well, some scissors, and the Mod Podge um stencils not stencils but um, brushes to paint the embellishments um, I ended up buying some some paint from the same brand uh, to color my embellishments or my cabochons um, this is really simple to make um, you just need to read the instructions of your polymer clay like mine said to put it in the oven for 275 um, degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes for every one-fourth of inches so here what I'm doing I'm just cutting little pieces and making them a little bit softer I am playing with it um, making it into little circles and placing them inside the um, the mold um, really easy as you can see guys um, I also do take my scissors and try to trim the edges of these stars and bows that I made Well guys, um, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, um, let me know if you like these kind of DIYs. Um, if you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. I mainly do Spanish videos, but my DIYs, I'm going to try to make them in English or do more if possible. Um, after I'm done, you know, making all the embellishments, I do take um, cookie paper and I place it in there. I do start um, heating up the oven also. I ended up... Um, using my mini oven just because we didn't want to turn on the whole stove just for these little pieces so we started heating up the oven um, like 10 minutes before I placed them in um, and it said 275 in Fahrenheit so I left it for 10 minutes first and then I placed them in sorry my little mini toaster oven it's so dirty I know I need to clean it but I left it on and as you can see the paper starting to sweat. And here my husband's helping me um, to take him out just because it's really hot. And uh, when you take him out guys, I do recommend you using a towel for them to cool down. I left them there for like 5 minutes just to start cooling down because you don't want the clay to break. After 5 minutes, I touched them to make sure they were hard enough and they were not cracked or anything. They look pretty good, um, except for the star one, I believe. Also, um, a side note, I know Mod Podge has um, melt sticks and I want to use those because you don't need an oven, guys. You just need the hot glue gun and you could just pour the clay into the mold and it's supposed to air dry in like 10 minutes and you just paint them. Alright guys, here comes the fun part and as you can see they look really freaking cute. Um, I also bought the stencils, the brushes from Mod Podge just because they seem really fine and really um, tapered and really small. It seems that they would fit perfectly with um, the embellishments I made since they're really tiny. And right here, we're just going to fast forward so you can see the end result.
And well, for the top glaze, I ended up using the Sculpey um, top glaze. Really simple to use. After the paint dried, I went ahead and smear my cabochons with this um, top coat. This made the cabochons look super shiny, really um, nice looking, and. This took a couple minutes to dry. I picked them up, I think, too soon, but you should let it stay overnight so it could really, really dry. Okay, guys, and this is how they turned out. I love them so much. I just think they're so cute, and you could use them for any crafting ideas, stuff that you have going on. I do recommend the molds as well. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment, and I'll see you till next time.